Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalren. Uh, I'll just get straight to you. <laughs> I've been getting a few comments from some of my videos and my videos, I guess, have been getting kind of like, um, had that, had that down curve, but now it's on the upside, so I don't really know. So the issues that I had with rogues in the past in terms of like their damage have been basically almost ratified and given us the bare minimum to perform okay in arenas. And I honestly could not be happier. I'm currently enjoying the living hell out of rogues. I'm enjoying the hell out of my outlaw rogue. But I'm also enjoying playing subtlety on the side and playing um, assassinations. I'm trying different talents just for fun. Uh, I would have to say my second favorite spec right now is subtlety. Uh, it was a little bit of assassination, but I'm kind of leaning back to subtlety. Anyway, uh, I've been getting a lot of comments where people are saying that rogues are still in the worst position ever. It's unplayable. It's impossible. Dalaran, what can we do? Yeah, so I wanted to make a video talking a little bit about it, where I think rogues are in a decent spot where you can perform fairly well, no matter at what skill uh, level you play, because I feel like rogues have the bare minimum to perform well. So it's one of those things where you still have to be a little bit more skillful. Uh, like, for example, I can go on with my demon hunter, I can find a mage or a healer, I can pop all my cooldowns, pop metamorphosis, and just spam my abilities, and I can score a kill. And I can score a kill fairly easy. I can go in the BG, find a group of people, pop metamorphosis, pop all my cooldowns, just go in metamorphosis, right? Uh, charge through people, drop more artifact weapon on top of a mass people, just uh, blade dance and deal a lot of AoE damage. That's not all that difficult, because that class is, um, I would have to say, Demon Hunter on the base level, in terms of like random BGs, is easier to play. I'm not sure how Demon Hunters are at higher end arenas, I'm pretty sure they'll be a little bit more difficult in terms of mobility being your defensive, so... I'm not going to say that, but on a base level, Demon Hunters are fairly easy and fairly straightforward in my opinion. But a rogue has the bare minimum to perform well in arenas. As in, you don't really have the damage of a Demon Hunter, but you do have the burst windows for an outlaw rogue, you do have the massive CC advantage as a subtlety, and you still do have the sustain and burst damage of an assassination. So assassination, I would say, is more of a spec that still has that damage component that basically lets it win simply because you deal so much damage and as long as you're able to get your kicks right and as long as you're able to get your vantage go roads right uh and all that jazz i'm pretty sure you're able to perform fairly well but it'll be specs like subtlety and outlaw that are i guess the uh i guess the hmm this spec sucks so it must suck all rogues kind of spec you know it's like one of those things that uh lets the community kind of feel like oh rogues suck and uh, i guess the only experience i really have uh, in terms of playing 2v2 arenas like with a healer, which is a great place where you can really test out how your class works, the strengths and weaknesses and everything uh, as an Outlaw Rogue. Outlaw Rogues are basically don't have any good sustained damage. You are all about lineups, you're all about rolling the bones until you get the right buff, and then it's all about the setups. If you fuck up your setups, you basically have no damage, but your setups include having you get the stun on the enemy or CC the enemy for it just a little bit, use Thickest Thieves appropriately with your healer, and if they have any kind of damage, throw that in there as well waiting for your cooldowns and trying to line it up. There's a lot of common point management and energy management, especially in terms of being able to generate your uh, cooldowns back together, uh, generate your offenses back together and uh, kind of um, go on from there. So I feel like it's one of the specs that has this like the uh, center of uh, bare minimum. What a lot of people are expecting out of a rogue, I guess, and a little, I guess out of all classes, and I'm not sure if that's just a legion thing or maybe it's just people are just simply expecting this out of rogues in general. But people are expecting for every single button they press to deal a ton of damage. And I guess it will be a lot like what in uh, combat rogues were of warlords. Your sinister strikes and the fact that you can get so many of them, your master heads that are hitting on top of that, your auto attacks that are hitting on top of that, all that, especially with the fact that you're building for a buff that keeps giving you more damage, 10%, 20%, 50% with the red buff mechanic, all those abilities basically allow you to have Great sustained damage, you still had great CC of blind, sap, gouge, everything. You had shadow reflection for du uh, the double stun with a vanish cheap shot, uh, eviscerate, so you could really lock someone down. Like, you had a lot to play with, actually, in terms of just straight up your toys as a combat rogue. But I feel like an alpha rogue is in a pretty decent position right now, where you can get just the bare minimum of what you need in order to perform well in arena. And that is my honest opinion. Like for example, right here, I'm able to line up a decent burst on the priest. I'm able to use my cooldown reduction to get my stun back up faster. I uh, we kind of rotated CC on the uh, the monk, threw him in a stun, threw him in a hex, 
I'm able to use my cooldowns together. I'm able to combine everything together. I threw the monk in a blind to get his trinket off early. And I was trying to throw him in a garage, but I got peeled completely. This is the epic peel, but you have damage. You just kind of need to know how to line it up. And I feel like this is one of those, again, I was talking before, like I can't tell if it's a legion thing or rogue thing, but I feel that there's a lot of players that, um, there's like a b pretty decent gap in terms of like really, really good players and like your average Joe player. And a lot of players are trying to gap uh, bridge the gap bridge the divide without actually like you know rising up so it's like one of those things which is like it just bridges and you know and i'm not sure exactly why people want to do that and uh, like for example when i when people are telling me like oh subtlety is terrible i always like to point out at ps hero one of the uh he's a really good sub rogue uh actually he plays all three specs uh he's been putting out videos on all three specs but he plays on eu servers that are pretty high mmr he can play 2v2s fairly well actually better well more than fairly well better than me of course uh he plays at like what 2400 2600 highest 2800 like uh, done a lot of twos in the past anyway uh when people are telling me like oh subtlety sucks you have nothing you don't have burst you don't have sustain i like to point to his videos so here's a player who has taken full potential of a class and is able to do well and win 2v2 games as a subtlety rogue and a lot of people are telling me that, well, you know, he's a high rated player. He is just really, really good at the game. Not everybody can do that. And then it's like, this is where I had to make this video. I'm not sure. Because I feel like Rogue's in a position, like an Outlaw Rogue is able to line up great, CC, uh, great uh, st uh, stun locks and burst every few, like every 30 seconds or so. So it's all about learning that. Uh, assassination has damage. So not really all that difficult to learn how to deep. So you basically can PV go in a dungeon, PVE a couple mobs and uh, you'll be good to go. And I feel like Subtlety has a lot of CC. You can throw an enemy with a kidney into a blind. Triple sap in, by yourself. This is just you on your CC. So imagine you with a healer, right? Who can maybe supplement throughout the saps and maybe supplement through the blind, right? Maybe like you throw an enemy into a kidney. Then your priest comes in fears and then you triple saps. And it's like you have so much more time on whoever you're trying to DPS. And you have sustained damage. You don't have that much burst, but you do have sustained. And it's good sustained damage. And if you're playing with finality, you're able to buff up your night blaze to deal more damage you can't dispel those those now so you know it's, i feel like it's just so much advantage so much advantage just uh causes you to do lineups just not on the target you're killing but on a target you're trying to cc so again i point out to a great player like uh ps hero who's able to do these things so he's able to maximize his class i point out to my gameplay where i'm able to do fairly okay at uh out rogue i won't say any, anything like high mmr but I'm doing fairly okay in terms of just being able to line up, uh, do the lineups in terms of arenas for 3v3s, 2v2s, BGs, uh, and able to de deal decent damage, get enough killing blows. And a lot of players are telling me that, you know, it's like, well, that's a good player. They're able to perform well because they're good at the game. So I'm not, I'm just not quite sure what people are talking about. I'm here to make a video saying that I feel like rogues are in a good position. I feel like rogues are doing fine. And most players, most rogue players have the opportunity to perform well at a rogue even if like you feel like no healer wants to play with you yes there are healers that want to play with you you have potential i just i feel like a lot of people just haven't uh, figured this potential out all on their own so that's kind of why i'm having a little bit of this dilemma in terms of this video um i feel like rogues are in a good spot so if you feel like rogues are in a table position i feel like all three specs are viable they're all good for uh different roles and you have different setups and just because a player like ps hero who is plays the game a lot who streams it who I think he makes a living off of it, uh, playing the game. I don't feel like using him and saying, oh, well, he's a really good player. And, you know, so we shouldn't really, you should throw that out completely as an excuse. Like, oh, well, well if we should still get buffed, but that's only, he is a, he's a special privilege kind of guy. He is, um, you never would apply him in a realistic situation. And it's like, that's just a player that's taken a class and spec to its maximum potential. If he can do it, so can you. And if he can do it, that means the spec is viable. That means the spec is playable. If somebody can do it and make it good and make it work, then that means other people can do it. If there's no one that can make it work, no one that can make it possible, then there's an issue. But if somebody is out there who still makes it work and plays a high MMR, I feel like, you know, everybody has a solid chance. So that's my video. That's my topic of the day. Thank you, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Hopefully everybody had a great Christmas and I'll see all of you in the next video.